So in this video we're just going to show you some boating etiquette and some boating fails, like Jim here. Jim's on weed. I'll explain this one later. So you've got a head in the hands. Oh dear me. How are you doing? A while back I was looking through some old um, canal books, magazines. I read a section on boating etiquette and I just thought I'd put these few clips together. Hope you enjoy them. Cheers. So we'll start off with mooring up. You pick your spot, you just glide in or just go slightly past it and reverse in. Job done. Nice and easy, look at that. However, once you've moored up, don't think you're safe. Because along comes Meggy. Here we go, here we go. You must have seen it. No. Look at the pins trying to come out. Didn't even try and put it in reverse. Have a quick look. Any damage? No, let's just clear off and say nothing, shall we? Okay. This chap here, busy talking to the chap with a dog. He wants some more up. The idea is to jump off, throw the rope round one of the boards and hold it. Gonna slow down, aren't you? Gonna slow down? No, you're not. We're gonna play that again. I want you to look at his left leg. How lucky is he? But still, no damage done there, mate. Chap here, look. Yeah, he wants some more up. No one on the helm. No one slowing it down. Mm, just a little bump, but no damage. Lads on the narrow boat having a good old look. Now he's decided I'm gonna clear off now. Go somewhere else. Well, I wasn't clear. Well, careful, don't hit that. There we go. Don't hit the barrier, mate, because you're going to damage that boat. It's only fiberglass. Steady. Oh, see the bloke on the bridge there. And even the dog's running off, look. Now this chap here, he's turned onto part of the river where there's a weir and he's got a butty so he's towing behind him. Now the wash from his boat is pushing that butty out towards the left. So he's going to try and go into the side here and try and make it safe. The flow of the river has increased a little bit as well which isn't helping him. But he's managed it. Now this is a way to approach a bridge or a blind bend. Take it nice and steady, Lord, you're in tick over. Let the other boat come through. You've seen it coming through. Give me a little wave, thank you. Carry on. However, you could do it like this. There's a boat coming through. Yes, you've got to go past the moored boat. But you can slow down. No, you can slow down and let the one come through. This is it from the front camera. He's just past the moored boat. No, you're going to boat on and get through. Look at the lady with her head in her hands. Dear me, someone should have slowed down, someone should have waved with one on, not just both go through it or just wait at the entrance of the bridge. This is the way to pass, so when you pass a boat it's always on your left hand side, there you go, nice and steady, even signs there saying slow down. This chap a little bit too fast and now he's lost control of it and he's straight into the bush. He's straight into the bush or even the weeds because Jim's on weed. Or... Shall we slow down by hitting the, uh, the arm go? Or shall we just steer away from it? So we're going in there, so no. Hold on tight, hold on tight, Jim. Yeah. There we go, that's a high boat on scratch and damage. Uh, this chap here, I don't know what he's doing. His tiller's right over to the right hand side. Now he decides he wants to try and turn, slam it straight into reverse, doesn't even go into neutral first. I don't know what that's done to that high boat engine. And that lad there, he went a little bit too fast. I think that's up on a Norfolk Broads. A little bit too fast and uh, he's trying to dock it himself. Correct way to go under an archway. You see the blue arrow there, that's telling you the route to take. Nice and steady. 
not like this approaching boat look. The dog walker, who we all know, has shouted a warning that there's another boat. No, they've just come straight through. Okay, the narrow boat's gone through. I don't think this chap actually wants to turn around. I think the wind's caught him. And he's not taking the right uh, steps to try and keep it straight. Bang that and reverse it. Three boats here, as it says there. Look, there's one boat underneath the barrier. It's actually turned turtle and sunk. They broke from their moorings. Here's another boat that broke from its mooring or with its mooring. There we go. And then there's the lads and the lasses down there getting it all tied up nice and safe. And it took its mooring with it. If you're stuck on the bridge, give your mate a ring. And it'll just ram you. Oh, there we go. Now this chap here, he's just come through the lift bridge. He's left a bar in place that keeps it in place. The dog walker there, no regard for anyone else. She tries to lower the bridge. She takes the bar out just as that boat's coming through. And watch her now, look, she's going to lift that bridge. Someone could have been seriously hurt and a lot of damage done there. She had no regard for anyone else. Very ignorant. Now this is how we're going to approach a lock. Tick over, nice and steady. Is it clear? Yeah. Let's just roll on through past the moored boats. There we go. Nice and steady, harming no one. And we're in the lock. I can do it this way. Oh, let's just open the gate like that. I'm going to show you that again because it's unbelievable. There it goes. There it goes. Why? I don't know if the chap on the uh, side there pushing it now is his mate, is helping him, but why do you ram the gates? Ridiculous. And sometimes this is what can happen. He's now turned it into a rocket boat because it's ready for launch. That's called launching your narrow boat. This one here broke from its mooring. It's leaning over, tilted to one side, it's taking the water. And there's the lads from the CRT. Here's someone we know well. He's got to deal with these idiots who've been messing about, flooding the lot. Now this chap here, 10 points if you guess what he's doing. Is he mooring up for the night? He's tied up to that floodgate. Is he mooring for the day? That's at Trent Lock. You're on the Cranford there, the Cranford Canal. Here we go, they say. He's putting it in reverse. What's he doing? Oh, nearly old Sam, nearly old Yeah, old Sam. What old Sam is trying to do there, he's trying to force his way through a locked flood lock. And they're, they're all amb ambiguous. No, mate, no excuses. Then the blokes who are clearing the not weeds out in Loughborough. It was chained up. You guys. Well, it's up to you, but you're not insured. Yeah. That's all it means. You can go where you like in the vintage boats here look there's a lovely rudder on that look at look at the size of that there look where's it gone well this is how they did it in the old days no messing around it's come off somehow drag it out three of yous slip it back into the cut put a bar through it and just fix it back on no workshop no nothing there you go lad straight in well done and that's the way to do it Vintage boat here, 100 years old. Oh, you knew it, didn't you? So he's going through. You're going to put it in reverse now, aren't you, mate? You're going to put it in reverse, surely. But where are you going? Oh, that's it. Put the tiller full over and just rev the backside off that boat. And now we've got three boats here, three abreast, because the fuel boat decided he was going to go there. Now look at these lads. Well, we all call stagnant Hindus, but these lads have had a drink or two. I'm going past the other boats, nice and steady. Yeah, cheers mate, you have a good day. Well done. Now this boat here, the people moored up, seeing this boat coming down, thought, it's a nice little boat that is. Take a video of that. Just listen. Which is why you've been married four times! 
to go in now. Oh, oh there we go. She still hasn't finished. She's going to have a go at him again. Full rubs, mate. Steer it into them bushes. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, see you next time. Bye bye.